Some of you like the GoPro, some of you don't. I like it because it has a clean lens. I tried using the, the Canon for the past couple days again and I have to edit out so much footage. But I'm not complaining about it because I'm, I'm just waiting to uh, get it serviced. So, whatever. We have another camera. Here we are. I'm in Montreal. I unloaded my delivery already. And now I'm just sitting here waiting for another load. Diesel's sitting here with me too. He's a good boy. Look at him. Look at him. A little tail wag right there. Look at that. I'm wagging it real good, right, man? Yeah, you come over here, buddy. I'd rather your head be by me than your butt. Oh, yeah, you don't have to lick my shirt. That's okay, but thanks. I appreciate the thought. You have a beautiful sniffer. Oh, I'm at a petrol pass here. Same Petra Pass we slept at last night, actually. I just came back here and actually got a good, better spot. So now we're just waiting. Playing the waiting game. Playing the waiting game. We're good at the waiting game, right, Diesel? We just wait. And we wait. And then we hurry up and we hurry up and then we wait. And we hurry up and then we wait. Sounds about right. Well, it's the afternoon now. I've been here for most of the day. Uh, we're still waiting for our load. I did contact them again and just to check in and say, hey, I'm still here. What's going on? So they got back to me and said they're working on something. So something is in the works. For now, take the weasel outside. I think he needs to go. What do you think, Diesel? Do you need to go outside? Oh, hold on, Diesel. Patience, patience. Okay, let's get your leash. Yeah. All right. Hold on, hold on. Just wait a second, Diesel. Just wait. All right, there you go. Oh, don't run into that guy's truck, man. to be alive just beautiful day here in Montreal oh you know just love life maybe that should be the motto for today just love life you know it could be grumpy that I'm stuck sitting here I thought I'd be long gone and reloaded and on the way to wherever I'm going from here already but I'm still stuck here I could sit here and be miserable or I can realize wow what a beautiful day this is so this is just me testing the 1080p 60 frames per second. I think it'll be a lot better like this. What do you think? What 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 do you think? Mm. We've got us our marching orders. We are headed down to the United States of North America. We're headed down all the way to Georgia. Jo jo Georgia. How do you say it? Georgia. Jo jo Georgia. Jo headed down to Georgia. Gonna go right down to Atlanta. It's about a two day drive from here. Diesel, your hairs are infesting my hat. Anyway, yeah, so it's about a two day drive from here to 1,054 kilometers, 1,400 miles. Glad you're with me for the journey. Oh dear. So I 
was leaving Montreal and I had this computer up here and I forgot to lock it in. Usually it stays there if I forget I've forgotten to lock it in before and it stays there just fine but the roads are so terrible in Montreal that one of the bumps actually threw stuff out of this thing up here. It threw this out of here, threw most of this stuff down. What else got knocked down? Everything up there got thrown all over the place. That's how bad the bumps are in Montreal. Anyways, everything went flying everywhere, my computer included. My computer fell onto the ground and something fell onto the screen. And that is now the result. I mean, I wanted a new computer already, but I wasn't ready to get it now. All my files are on there for my vlogs too. I mean, I have to get that fixed. So what I can do, I have a couple of options here. I can get a new computer, even though I can't afford one right now, get a new computer. Or I can get a cheaper option would be to get a TV screen. Just a basic one, not a smart TV, small TV. I sort of wanted a TV for in here anyways. I don't know where I would put it exactly, but then what I can do is I can run the HDMI cord from the computer here into the TV and uh, I can still use the TV then as a monitor. And then I have my TV in here and it's a couple of hundred bucks as opposed to, you know, a couple of thousand because I'm not going to waste my money on a cheap computer. I wanted a computer like five times as fast and good as this one already so it was gonna be pretty expensive that's why I couldn't afford a new computer right now can't afford a new TV right now either really but the next couple of days I'm gonna go down to uh, the States and go into a Best Buy or a Walmart or something I'm gonna take a look at the smaller TVs and see what I can find I'm gonna to have to find something that'll be my cheapest option but you know without a monitor I can't get my vlogs edited I know it was my fault for not properly securing my computer, but come on Montreal, you guys gotta sort of band together and get your city to fix your roads. Not just Montreal either, how about Highway 11 from like North Bay to Hearst? I'll just throw that in there too, and Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Well Manitoba's actually got pretty good roads right now, except for the 75. The bad roads are everywhere. This is a message to our Prime Minister. Why can't we build roads in Canada as good as the United States right next door? And don't give me that climate stuff. Southern Ontario and Manitoba have the exact same climates as like, you know, North Dakota, South Dakota, and North Dakota have perfect immaculate highways. Just a little frustrated right now. I'm not having a very good day again, but I will make it a good day. I choose to be happy today. Smells funny. It smells different. Oh. I just need to buy some washer fluid yet before we go. And then we're about 10 minutes from the border of the United States. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go to market. So we're just 10 minutes from New York State. We're gonna cross from Quebec, Canada into New York, United States.
Just getting here to the border. Stop sign here. And it says trucks only this way. It says do not enter, but beneath it there it says accept trucks. That's where I go. Duty free or in French, horror taxes. <laughs> you guys see that? That's funny. Oh boy. French is funny. Where am I going? So this is the Canadian customs here on our left. You're coming back up to the Great White North in the French side of things. As soon as we get to the other side into America, I'm going to be able to read the signs again. It's going to be fantastic. There's the U.S. Customs in front of us there now. Crossing the border, crossing the border, legally crossing the border. See, it's so easy to cross the border. All you got to do is have your ID, not have a criminal past, and just follow the road. Answer a few questions. Don't cause any trouble. It is intimidating if you don't cross the border regularly. They will intimidate you. They intimidate me and I cross all the time, like every week. That's their job. It's not their job to be your friend, okay? Remember that. Don't go there and try to be all friendly with them. Only speak when spoken to. Only answer exactly what they asked. Don't go into detail. Don't bring up stuff they didn't bring up. They're not trying to be your friend, it's their job to interrogate you and make sure you're not going to harm any American citizens. Alright, they don't know you. You know you. They don't know you. I'm going to this one right here. Which one are you going to, buddy? I'm going to this one. Alright then. I'll see you on the other side, guys. Boom! Instantly the roads are like 200% better. No more stuff falling off my shelves. No more bolts rattling out. United States of America. Such a nice tree here in New York. What in the world? Such a shame that such a nice tree would be contaminated with a, a spider straight from the devil. I hate spiders. The tree still smells nice though. Well, since this screen is messed up but the computer is still good, we've got ourselves a new setup. Why not upgrade, right? And before you jump on me, it was either I get a new computer, which would be about $1,500, $1,000, maybe just under a thousand, but for a computer good enough as this, like this one to do my videos, about a thousand dollars. Instead, I got this TV for $150. I ran the HDMI cord to the TV. I got a little table underneath there. So for less than $200, I can continue making videos and instead of spending $1,500. So I think this is what we're gonna do until we can afford to get a new computer. I'm going to have to pay myself back for this now too because I wasn't really prepared to spend $200 today. I'll have to work a little bit harder to pay that off on my next check. At least we can keep making videos. This is a whole new level of editing. Wow. Why is the sound still coming from over there though? Shouldn't the sound be coming through here? I gotta figure out the sound. Pile Got it working now. So as I was saying just a few clips ago, we were planning on going through Cap's casing, so that means we're going up on Look how big a diesel. Flat. That's like life size, man. It's like life size. This is gonna be like editing now, like you've never 17, seen before. I found that it was about 50 kilometers further for some reason. Well, now that we got that all figured out, I wanna hit the road and get a little bit further tonight yet. I'm not gonna go too much further. I'm already worried that I'm not gonna get any parking because we're in the northeast of the United States. Everybody knows who drives up here that there's no parking after like 8 p.m. But I don't want to park in the Walmart parking lot here because I don't know if I'm allowed to park here overnight or not and I just prefer not to. I'd prefer to be at a, an area where you know truck parking is specifically set up for us. And I want to get a little further yet too. I mean. Okay. Unexpected expenses. Let's get back on the road. Hundred 
50 meters, then turn right on Highway 50. On I don't know if I've ever shared this fact with you, but these are my absolute, absolute favorite snack and chips in the whole world. Sun Chips 100% Whole Grain Harvest Cheddar. Oh, just to die for. But you have to buy them in the States, though. They're just a lot better. Same with any other kinds of chips. My second favorite kind of chips are uh, Lay's sour cream and onion and salt and vinegar. If you buy them in the States, they have like five times more flavor on them. In Canada, it's like they, they go chintzy and uh, try to save, you know, on the flavor and it's very bland. But you go to the United States, you buy Sun Chips or Lay's chips down here. The flavor is way better. That's the day. You did good, girl. You did good. We didn't go too far. No, we went to, uh, where are we? Why are you not focusing? You see that? Was that me or was that you? Did you take your glasses off for a second? Cause you're focused now. Anyways, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna say? Diesel, what was I gonna say? We didn't make it too far into the States. We're in New York. Let's ask Mandy where we are now. Mandy, you beautiful woman, where it not found. Take it back. What do you mean you don't know where I am? All right, Mandy doesn't know where we are. We're gonna ask Google. Google, where are we? One second, it's gotta think a little bit. Albany, New York. Albany, or Albany? Albany, right? Albany, New York. We're at a little parking area, a little pullout. The freeway's right there, see? Oh, he had a double trailer. Hey, check that out. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm just on the, it's just a parking area. There's no facilities here. Just, just truck parking here. We're going to hang out here. We're going to edit some videos. Diesel, we're going to test out that new TV. So thanks for being a part of my life, watching my vlogs and keeping up with what I'm up to. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And if you want to know more about me, down below in the description, whole pile of links to all kinds of other stuff that's related to me. I'll see you tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central here in North America. My beard is getting out of control. It's at a good length now, though. I like it.